Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate uh, that how to achieve network drive mapping. So to demonstrate this, first I'm going to briefly go through the theoretical part at what network drive mapping is. So network drive, drive mapping allows users to access files and folders stored on server. And in this slide, let's say this is our server. So on this server, we can have certain folders. And if, the, if we share these folders, then these folders can be visible on clients' machines. So users with specific privileges, they can log in into this. Uh, account in client account and they can see this folder and I'll show you how to do this and in that case it say that you will uh, you don't need to use any any search and you don't need to use any IP address and you can simply use file explorer to find it and I, I'll show you how to do this and there are multiple ways to achieve this but I'll be using bash file which is actually a script file to store commands and now let's see how this will look like so um, now, yes, before doing this, I have already installed Windows Server 2022 and I have installed Active Directory Domain Services and I promoted it uh, to act as a domain controller. And now this, let's say these client machines are basically part of this domain. This is the conditions. So if you want to do these things, we have our previous video, they, that will be helpful. But now, once we have done these things after drive mapping, for example, I'm going to map a drive with this uh, label. I can have any label and then we go and if this is, uh, we, we actually enable certain users to uh, see this drive and access this drive. So once they log in into this client machine, they can also see exactly the same thing like this. And then there can be multiple other uh, computers from where users can actually log in with their credentials to see that network map drive and now to demonstrate it i will be uh, creating one organizational unit and in this organizational unit i will create uh, two groups one will be teachers group and second will be students group and in the teachers group i'll create two accounts teacher one and teacher two and a students group i will create two accounts student one and a student two and now to demonstrate network drive mapping I have this Windows Server 2022 and I have this Windows 10 as a client machine. And then this is first, this is a server manager. You can launch the server manager after clicking on this start button and you can have server manager here. And after this, first of all, I'm going to create the user accounts as I mentioned before. So first we are going to click on tools and here we have an option of active directory users and computers. And in this Active Directory users and computers, I'm going to create maybe one, um, one organizational unit. So for that, I'm simply going to click on gd.local, that's my server. And here simply I click on new and here organizational unit. So organizational unit, we can have maybe any, any name here for my organizational unit. Let's say, we can say this is our new, um, building let's say so this is our organizational unit you can have any any name for this organizational unit okay and now in this organizational unit i am going to create one uh, one group with the name teacher so i'm going to right click there and then i click on new and here i click group and the one of the group will be let's say teachers and uh, and then second group, let's say second group will be uh, students. Students, that's second group. So I have created two groups here. And uh, now I'm going to create users. Let's say for that, I'm going to say maybe first user will be my teacher one and second will be teacher two. So I'm going to create teacher two here and uh, this is the login name for teachers two you can use same like this teacher two and then next and then we need to configure the password for that i'm not going to enable this option that user needs to change password so i don't need users to change password but this is always good to ask user to change password after they uh, they first time logged in next this is uh, the account which i have created for teachers and now maybe i also need to create an account for students for that maybe i can create uh, 
an, an account user and that can be a student let's say two and let's say student so in the same way you can create an account for student two as well because i already have maybe so i'm not going to create both of the accounts so this is and we should remember the password that is challenging to remember many passwords and next so now we have the student 2 and teacher 2 i'm going to say that uh, now i'm going to say add to a group so teacher 2 account will be the member of teacher group uh, sorry for my spelling teachers check now yes we have this group and say okay so now this teachers account has been uh, made part of uh, teachers group and in the same way for the students let's say i'm going to say add to a group and we have created another group for students and we say check now okay now we have added sorry and just close it maybe uh, again active directory users and computers so in this new building we have the student group we have teachers group if we click on students and if we click on properties we can click on members we can see student 2 is a member of this group uh, and then okay in the same way if you click on teachers and click properties you can see here teacher 2 is basically members member of this group okay so now we have created two groups and now i want to map a drive network um, drive mapping and in that case i want to give access only to teachers group so any user within this group uh, within this group they can see the my uh, they can actually sorry access my network drive and others they they will not have any access to my network drive so for that i have created these user accounts and once i have created these accounts i will be creating the folder which i want to share so for that i'm going to click on this uh, file explorer here and then we go here maybe to this pc and in c drive i'm to create i'm going to create a new folder let's say i'm going to say folder name can be anyone say kamal so that's the folder i have created and then i click on properties and now I'll click on sharing i'm going to share this folder and i'm also going to share it with uh, the with teachers so i'll say here uh, teachers and added so yes i have added teachers uh, group and then it say share it so now this is the name of the folder so this this will be the name so sorry properties this is the name of uh, the path where we have this folder so i'm going to copy it because i need it later at later stage and then we can also have click on advanced sharing we can maybe click on permissions and you can see we already have administrator and maybe if we if we want to add here we can add again in the same way teachers so we can have more options here only thing is that and uh, then we can also allow it for full control or change so we are going to allow it um, so they can they can have full control on the folder which we are sharing and then we are going to click apply and okay and then apply sorry, apply okay and close it so now this is the folder which we want to share uh, share with the with the user and then we close it and uh, now we need a batch file so for that i'm going to right click here on screen and then new and this is a new text document open that document and this is this is uh, this is where i'm going to create this batch file so for that we have a command we simply use net use and then we give a label for the drive that will be the drive which will be shown to the users let's say user will see the label as a z or any any drive you can have you can give it any name and then we need to use the path remember i had a copy copy the path when i created the folder so this is the path at this path we will have uh, that folder which we want to share and then let's say save as and uh, then we need to give it any any name let's say i'm going to give it same name let's say kamal uh, 
and dot bat that will be the extension for batch file and then press save key and close it and after that simply to run this uh, script we just have to double click here and now if we go to file explorer and click on this pc you should be able to see this drive so now at the server machine we can see this drive but if you want to share this network drive with with the users then we have to create a group policy and so next next step will be to create group policy and for that we again need to launch uh, server manager and in the server manager we need to go to tools and here we have to click on group policy management and in this group policy management we have to create a group policy so for that i'm going to first create group policy so in this group policy objects we click there we have many other group policies but for this uh, thing i'm going to create a new group policy so i'm going to click new and to this group policy let's say i'm going to call it kamal group policy okay and then say okay this is not actually descriptive name we should be having some maybe kamal group policy network map it can have any name network drive map okay so this will be the name of uh, our policy i'm going to click ok and once we have created that that policy you can see this is the policy and now we need to edit it so i'm going to click uh, right click there click edit and then we will have this new window and in this window you can see we have two options computer configurations or the user configurations but we are actually want to restrict or maybe we want to allow some users to see that network drive so for that we are going to click on user configuration then we click on policies window setting and in window setting we can find this script here so if you click the script it says that now you are creating a script but where you want to apply the script whether the whether you want to apply it when user logs on or maybe you want to apply it when user logs off so we want to apply it on when user logs on so we will click here and double click here maybe and then you click on show files and in the show files we have to copy paste our script file dot bat file which we created and that file if you remember that is available here on our on our desktop so i'm going to maybe uh, cut it and then we have to paste it here uh, sorry and maybe yes i click log on again show files and i'm going to paste it here this file is there close it and then we click on add we are going to add that file here so kamal open and then we click ok so now this file has been added this is the logon properties and then we say apply ok and now this is where we have simply created our 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 policy okay but now we have to apply this policy to our uh, to our domain so i'm i'm going to apply this to uh, a domain level so that's a gd.local is our domain name so here i'm going to right click and here i'm going to select that link and existing gpo so we have an existing gpo which we just created and the name for that was kamal gp network map so we select this and click ok and now you can see that group policy has been applied on on this domain and after this we simply click close so we created user accounts and then we shared uh, a drive or the folder and then we have created a policy and applied this policy at domain level and now last stage will be to verify if the user can see it from from our client machine so remember windows 10 is our client machine i'm going to click there and uh, then here i'm going to log in with teachers account so only teachers should have access to it so i'm going to say teacher to and uh, then we need to use a password and hopefully we remember the password 
for teacher two and then we click here and you can see teacher we are going to log in into this computer or this client machine using teachers two account so this will be the first time when we are going to log in into this machine so it may take some time because it might be creating a profile for teacher and this may take some, some time so maybe I, I, I'll, I'll pause this video and I'll be back when this the process will complete okay now you can see that we are in our windows 10 machine using teacher 2 account so this is a teacher 2 account which we created on our windows server machine here and now we are there with that account and now we should see that folder which we shared the network drive with the label z so for to show this i'm just simply going to click on this file explorer and then click on this pc and now you can see this is the drive which we mapped on server machine so if you double click there you can see actually we don't have any contents there but you can see that you have access to that network drive so now every user who is part of the teachers group they can see this 